I think we all might have one or two, and if you don't have one, then you have a blessed life uh, if you don't have one of those hanging on you. So let's just go to the throne of grace for a moment in silent prayer, and then we'll end in prayer and the Lord's prayer. So let's take that moment of silence now. Loving and gracious God. We thank you that you hear our prayers, both spoken and unspoken. We thank you that um, you are the master physician. And that you get us together in our mother's womb and you know every single inch of us, for you created us. We thank you for your mercy and your grace that you show your children. And you even show mercy and grace to those who aren't your children, whether they perceive it or not. For you are a good God, and that you are involved in humanity, whether they want to perceive you or not, that doesn't negate the fact that you have always been involved with your creation. So Lord, we just hand it all over to you, knowing full well that you answer prayer, and it's, your will is always perfect. You know the whole story. We only know the part that we're going through. So, Lord, continue to write our story. We entrust them to you. And we raise our voices this morning in prayer with Jesus' disciples, past, present, and future. And we pray the prayer that he taught his first disciples. For when they saw him praying all the time, they said, well, teacher, you just to pray. And Jesus said, well, when you pray, you pray as this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, in the power, in the glory, 